little tree. Hello! Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today, we are going to be doing what's been going around. Uh, you know, everybody seems to be trying it right now. So I was like, hey, you know what? Why not go ahead and try it as well? Uh, we are going to be doing the uh, Chick-fil-A versus Popeyes, the Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. So yeah, I have uh, I think Kim, you know, was looking into it as well and i know she's she's filming the same video today so she's gonna do it as well but we've been seeing that popeyes has been running out of their chicken sandwiches like their spicy ones especially but i uh i think a lot of places are sold out of their uh their chicken sandwiches so pretty much we're gonna go ahead and go to popeyes and see if they have them if they don't have them at that certain location then we're gonna go around and try to see if we can find one that does and if not then i guess we'll go from there all right you guys so we uh kim and i because kim was going to film the same video we both went to different um popeyes and stuff but pretty much they all said the same thing that they were sold out and they weren't going to get any more i think until september 1st which isn't until the end of this week so that's a bummer that sucks so unfortunately i can't do the popeyes versus chick-fil-a and then i was gonna pass by chick-fil-a but it was a little bit too packed and i mean it's already like two o'clock which is like lunchtime for a lot of people so um yeah it's extremely packed so uh i came by to a taco bell nearby so i am going to go ahead and do that because uh yeah because it's Taco Bell and I like Taco Bell. And I haven't had Taco Bell in a little while. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and eat some Taco Bell today. Try not to, I'm gonna try not to drop anything. Put that there. there I'm already dropping cheese and stuff. But yeah, I usually, I got usually what I get when I come here and it's, um, I got a Nacho Bell Grande with steak. I got a uh, chicken quesadilla and a, a beefy five layer burrito. That's usually my go-to when I come here to um, to Taco Bell. And to drink, I got a pink lemonade. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, oh, good thing I got here when I did because now the drive-through is like extremely packed. Mm. Yo, talk about cheese. It's so good. Oh man. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, I should have asked for a side of cheese. It's all good though. Mm. Chicken quesadillas are like my favorite thing. One of my favorite things. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's so crazy that. Popeyes is literally sold out of all their chicken sandwiches. That's insane. Then again, everybody is trying it. Mm. Like I said earlier, Kim was going to do the same video. We were both going to film them. Um, the Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A, but you know, we both couldn't do it. So I think she went to In-N-Out. I was gonna go to In-N-Out, but I was craving Taco Bell a little bit more. Mm. So good. Oh, come on. There we go. This, uh, I believe it's jalapeno. Or the jalapeno creamy sauce or something. Mm. So good. Mm-mm-mm. It's 
today is hotter than usual. I woke up like at four in the morning when I was just like extremely hot, uncomfortable. And I was thinking about blasting the AC at the middle of the night, but I didn't know. I was like, nah, because if I try to put a timer on it or something, I'm gonna end up not waking up and it's just gonna keep blasting and blasting and then wake up like around seven or eight or nine or something and it's just gonna be blasting and that's a lot of energy. So we have a fan, but it felt like today it just, it wasn't really doing anything. September is next week. That's ridiculous. Literally next week already. Or actually the end of this week on Sunday. That's ridiculous. So crazy how time flies by. And um, Michelle came over, uh, Kim's friend, or our friend. Our friend came over, our friend Michelle came over Friday, I believe. We were all hanging out, and then I don't know how it came up, but pretty much we were talking about like age and how time kind of flies by and stuff. And I guess the longer, or I mean, we were just all saying that like, we've heard that the older you get, the faster time goes by. And I kind of feel like it is true. You know, when you were young, you weren't, you know, you didn't really have a care in the world. Even when you were in like uh, elementary school and stuff, you didn't really care. You know, time was going by so slow. And yeah, like you, you didn't even think of like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm like growing up or anything like that. But I don't know when I started realizing it. I want to say probably after I graduated high school, I want to say that I started realizing like, man, time is flying by quick. Mm. Actually, even in high school, I was a freshman. I walked, I, I went into freshman year and I was like, oh, seniors, like, man, like, I, I, like, that's still like four years away, like being a senior, you know, it's just, and then next thing you know, you're, you're a senior about to graduate high school and it's just like, holy crap, you know, I, I'm already, I'm graduating high school, like, I'm officially done. After you graduate high school, man, it just it just flies by. So I think it is true. You, the older you get, faster times fl the faster time flies. Mm. On another note, we really, really want to go to. Oh man, the tractor is getting packed. This lady was debating. Whether, the, whether to go into the drive-thru or not. And she's driving a Suburban, so you know how big that thing is, and she's just literally blocking everybody. It's like, dude, just choose either going or not. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, anyways, on another note, we really wanna go to Big Bear this year. And we were kinda, well, yeah, this year. Or soon. Mm. And we looked up some cabins and stuff and for like December and they were pretty pretty good price a well, pretty good price and and you know especially with the amount of people that are gonna go if we all split it and stuff it's not that expensive but we were looking into it and December's kind of iffy about snow so a lot of the times that it, it's a hit or miss whether there's gonna be snow in December but then January, January is like the month that is like the most consistent with snow. Year in and year out with, uh, you know, up in Big Bear. But we looked at the prices. We looked at the prices from December to January. And literally it goes up by like a thousand bucks. You know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars more. You know, just, just to go in January. And it's just like... Uh, but I really want the dogs to see snow. I really want to see snow. I really want to be in the snow. So 
I don't know. We still haven't figured it out yet. We still got to see who's going to go or who's still down to go. So we don't know if it's going to happen, but I really wish it does. I really, really, really want to go. I had the car off without AC and I was kind of, oh, I was dying a little bit. Mm. Oh, man, this nacho cheese is bomb. Okay, so this has nothing to do with anything that I'm talking about. Well, I'm not really talking about anything specific, but. Okay. I think this applies to many different things, but let's say you're parked somewhere, right? And there's like multiple parking spaces, like a lot. So I'm kind of weird. And I usually like to park away, away, like away from everybody. So I'll go park somewhere else, right? Like. If there's a ton of open parking spaces, I'll just go park somewhere where I could literally just pull in, get out, and not worry about anything, not worry about a car next to me or anything like that. <clears throat> I, I don't know if it's just me, but if whenever, I don't know if you guys do that, but if you do, don't you kind of like, not that it pisses me off, it just, I guess it irritates me a little bit more. Like, Like, I guess it irritates me more than anything. I mean, I'm parked away literally from everybody. Like, away from everybody. And then somebody decides to park right next to you. Not, like, two spaces away. Like, literally right next to you. I don't know why it just irks me. I'm like, oh, I parked over here for a reason. I wanted to be away. And they literally decide to, like, do that next to you. Or, like, okay. This one's kind of weird. It's kind of gross because it has to do with, like, going into the bathroom at public places and stuff. But like for guys, you know, we have urinals, right? And usually it depends on where you go. You get like a, a set of like, I don't know, like sometimes it's two. So there's really nothing you can do there. But like when it's more than two, like if it's there, if there's like three, four, five, or some places have like six or like eight urinals that you can choose from. And literally like if there's nobody in there, I'll go to a urinal, right? Usually I'll do like the very end one. And so like, I'm just doing my business and stuff and somebody decides to walk in, literally has to go and like use the urinal right next to me or you literally like two urinals away and it's like, I find it a little bit weird. I don't know if it's just me. I know a lot of girls obviously can't relate because you know, you guys don't have urinals and stuff like that. But like, if your guy or if your boyfriend has ever had that situation where they go into a public restroom and somebody literally uses the, um, the urinal right next to them like i've had that happen like twice and it's just like it just weirds me out a little bit i don't know if it's just me but but it's like i would understand if they were all packed but no like you literally have anything to choose from and you had to choose the one that's like near me it's it's a little weird for me mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, I really wanted to try that Popeyes. I was gonna have to wait until the end of this week though. I promise you guys that I will get that video out to you. It will happen. I'm gonna have to wake up as soon as, as soon as they open and go and head there and be like, yo, you guys said you guys got some sick chicken sandwiches on the first, so what's up? Taco Bell reminds me of when, um, when I was little. If you guys don't know, I am originally from Mexico. I'm originally from Baja, California, Ensenada. I don't know if you guys have ever been there. Beautiful town. Uh, really bomb mariscos if you guys have never had any. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm from Ensenada originally. I came over here when I was uh, when I was three years old, and I've been here ever since. And but not particularly here in California. Like when I was when I was three, I st I was here a little bit with my mom for like about I want to say like about a year or two. And then after that year or two, um, I spent some time with my sister, um, with uh, well two of my older sisters. Uh, one of them who's currently in Alaska, the one that came to visit not too long ago, 
and then uh, the other one she lives all the way in Rancho Santa Margarita so yeah basically I was up I was with them and we kind of moved around a lot so uh, when I was younger <clears throat> living with them and uh, my nephews and my niece we pretty much lived in Kansas Colorado uh, and where else where else where else Kansas Colorado and there was one more Kansas Colorado uh, I, I'm forgetting the other one but I know for sure we lived in Kansas and Colorado and um, and then eventually we made our, our way up to Alaska so I was up in Alaska in Anchorage for a little bit when I was younger I actually went to kindergarten at Anchorage um, and so then after that I came over here to California with my mom when I was six and that was the very first time that I met my younger sister and I just looked at her and I was like oh okay my mom was like okay I was literally whatever about it but anyways yeah like um, one of the first foods that I ate when I got here to California was uh, Taco Bell um, but yeah I don't know I thought it was the best thing in the world I uh, literally ate the a soft taco which is like one of the plainest things you can get literally just tortilla and some beef and some cheese lettuce and I think tomato and that's it that's all it had it was like super plain and I'm, I don't know I just I thought it was the best thing in the world and so I grew up eating that that was like one of the first things that I got introduced to it was to me like I said it's the best thing in the world and then as I got older my mom would go to like these laundry mats to wash so I would go with her help her out and stuff and then like around lunchtime or whatever like or when we've been there for a little bit my mom would give me some money and the, there was a laundromat that would have a taco bell right next to it and she would give me some money and she would just tell me like hey you know go get us some food so i'd go to the taco bell next to us and get us some food bring it back to the laundromat and we would eat there and finish doing laundry but i don't know man i i i, I don't know every time i come to ta every time i come to taco bell like i always get reminded of that and even though it might not be anything special it's a little bit special to me just because they were they there are times that I spend with my mom you know like even if it's just helping her out with laundry like just helping her just being there with her and like having those little memories of like oh yeah you know she gave me some money so like you know I would go get Taco Bell and stuff and come back and eat I don't know it's like little memories like that that are really cool I think um but yeah that's what I say every time I, I come to Taco Bell I always I always get reminded of like oh that's the first thing I ate when I got here and you know the laundromat days and stuff so I, th I think it's pretty cool but yeah it's crazy when you're little you think like when you try something for the first time you really like it you think it's like the best thing in the world now I don't like soft tacos at all like I don't like them like I don't get them because I think they're I think they're the plainest thing in the world like I don't I, I haven't had a I had a, uh, always happens I can't talk but I haven't had a soft taco and I don't even know how long all right this is going to be my last bite because I'm actually pretty full Mm. Mm hmm okay wait maybe one more bite mm. Mm, come on come on it's giving me a hard time there we go yes look at that mmm all right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I am really bummed out that I, I didn't get to do originally what I wanted to do. Um, I was really looking forward to it. I was really looking forward to it, but unfortunately, they're sold out. Hopefully, at the end of this week, I can go ahead and try it, and they actually have some more, and I can go ahead and put that video out for you guys. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this little chill soup, uh, you know, mukbang in the car, you know, I know you guys uh, like some of these car mukbangs and stuff like that, but uh, I, I, you know, every once in a while I like doing a little chill thing, make it more relatable to you guys, but you guys, thank you so much as always for all the love and support. I really, really appreciate it. Go ahead and comment down below anything that you want as always. And again, I can't say it enough. Thank you. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff as always. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.